Hi folks, today I'd like to briefly discuss the diameter protocol which is used in telecommunication networks. So let's start. So diameter is a protocol that is specified by ITF, Internet Engineering Task Force, through an RFC. And it has also been used by telecommunication standardization bodies. It has been chosen by telecommunication standardization bodies like 3GPP to be used for telecom networks as well. As a matter of fact, telecommunication networks are one of the major users of diameter protocol. So this, in this brief video, we'll talk about what is the purpose of diameter protocol. So diameter is what is called, is a type of AAA protocols. It is a AAA protocol. And what we mean by that is, the first A stands for authentication, all right? And we'll discuss it, what is meant by each of these A's in slight detail. The second A stands for authorization. And the third A stands for accounting. All right, that's all there is to it. So whenever a resource needs to be used, right, there is some entity, a person, a software that needs access to a resource for utilization, for utilizing. So first of all, it needs to be established that whoever is requesting access to the resource is allowed to do that, all right? So even before that, before we can answer this question of whether the entity is allowed usage of the resource, this aspect is authorization, by the way. That is this, this aspect. Before that, we need to establish the identity of whoever it is that is making the request. So here we add another process. It's called identification. Identification is a key sub process of authentication. Right. So let's say if I am uh, going somewhere to my office and or let's say let's come up with another example. I'm going to an exclusive club, a piece a bit, which offers pizzas and I'm a member. So before I go, when I go there, I knock on the door. I want to have pizza. And it's an exclusive club. I need to establish the fact that I am who I am claimed to be, right? So that step is called identification. I could give an identity card, national identity card, or a club issued card, or something like that. And once I provide my identification, then the process of authentication is done, which is some sort of a comparison would be done. You know, the difference between authorization and uh, authentication is this comparison with some sort of a database, an authentic database of allowed entities, allowed people in my case, along 
like that who are you know authentic so identification is part of the step of authentication once the step of authentication is done i enter the pizza shop i show my id card to the guard whoever is at the door he goes inside checks his register okay mr this 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 name this 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 date of birth this 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 and yes it's in the register it's mentioned his picture is also given which is my picture and the same details are given he makes a comparison he says okay this guy is legend he has given me his identification and he is authentic so the step of authentication is done now he lets me in the visa shop now let's say there are two classes of customers one is a regular customer and one is the vip customer and let's say both are afforded different menus one is for the regular customer right a set of services and menus totally different and one is for the vip customer so this is the regular menu services let's say it has no sushi or something sushi pizza and this is the vip menu vip menu and vip service so now before i go and consume the service let's say before i go and order a type of pizza let's say i go to the counter and i am a regular customer i belong to the regular class and i order a pizza a super sushi pizza or something which is only um allowed for the vip customers i'll be denied you know they'll tell me hey mr you are a regular customer and this super sushi pizza is only allowed for the vip customers right so this step this is called authorization so a step is performed where it is ascertained that the entity with this identification who is authentic does this entity have authorization to consume the resource that they desire and as a result a decision will be made either an authorization will be made or it will be rejected and denied that is the purpose of this step of authorization so this is the second day in the strip this was the first day next comes the fact that there is a step of accounting which is the third day so let's say i go there i have a, a good meal of pizza i have a good time but you know there's no there's no free lunch there's uh, i have to pay the price right all right so accounting is the step by which it is a certain that the resource which has been utilized by an entity who is identified whose authentication has been established and who is also authorized access to the resource think of the pizza i give my identity card they check with the register yeah i'm authentic they check okay they they let me consume the regular pizza services but they need to do the counting you know because i maintain a balance with them and it has to be deducted against the price of whatever i have consumed so the resource utilized in this case is you know one pizza and the resource has a price it has a cost that cost needs to be a certain at some value let's say 22 dollars or whatever so this step of coming up with the cost against the resource utilization 
this is called account. So these three steps are what any AAA protocol does and diameter being a, a AAA protocol does exactly that. So I'll leave you guys here and uh, we'll discuss diameter in a lot of detail uh, in the context of telecommunication networks from multiple angles, from the implementer's angle, from the utilization angle, from really many angles, but that's the task for another video. So have a good day. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, uh, feel free to write and uh, mention in the comments. Right? Have a good day. Bye.